Being in the classroom, being a teacher is tough work. It's really hard work. And, you know, I don't know any teacher who went into education that didn't want to change the world for their kids. They wouldn't do everything in their power to give them access to anything they need to be successful and to thrive. And I think the personal joy from this is like I get to see some of those little moments and be a part of it. it it's a small part, it's a small part, but to be have a hand in a part of a day that, that, a, that a student will go home and a child will go home and tell their parents about and remember it and still think about it when they go to fourth grade and fifth grade, I think that's not a small contribution. Um, and it means a lot to me because those are the contributions that I know made a difference in my life. Um, and I, I guarantee you some of the teachers I had don't remember that because it didn't seem significant to them. It was really game changing for me. It was a five minute conversation I still remember with a teacher in high school who really, really changed kind of my outlook uh, on the world and, and what I could achieve. And again, she, I'm sure she doesn't remember it, but I remember it. And I hope that more of those moments can happen and we can talk about them and we can work together to create more of them for more kids. It is vital that we connect across all different kinds of difference, um, all different lines of difference. And those lines can be community, neighborhood, country, state, uh, color, race, uh, socioeconomic status, um, grade level, um, background. And it's, it's vital. It's vital that we see each other as people and we see each other as human. And the mission of, of, of Empatico is to is starting with younger kids right now, we're working with ages seven to 11, that we really believe in it and research shows that if you give kids an opportunity to meet other kids that are different than them, amazing things happen, simple things, but like, you know, simple things and amazing things that I can change the world. Yeah, we thought about what to name this tool, this organization, and, and we named it Empatico, which is empathy, Spanish, um, because that's that's the whole point. I mean, when we thought about it, that's the answer to why. Why, why, why build a technology platform and why build content that allows kids to connect to each other? Um, and, and the reason is to increase things like curiosity and, and perspective and exposure to other people and other places in the world and all of that are the really important ingredients that can lead to a very big thing like empathy. This sounds silly, but sometimes on our team we talk about, you know, we ask each other, do you remember a time, a little moment when the world just suddenly became bigger for you? Um, and it's interesting, if you ask adults that from all backgrounds, almost everyone, I mean, everyone I've asked has that moment. I, I have sort of a ridiculous one, but to your point of, you know, beyond subject matter, like, I remember the first time that I realized green beans weren't mushy. I actually, the fresh ones are actually crunchy and delicious, but I just had ones in cans. And, and all of a sudden, the, food, the, the, the world of food and what food meant in my culture and my family was just like blown up. And I was like, oh my gosh, what else don't I know? Um, and therein lies the curiosity and started asking questions. I mean, we have, we see students connect across Empatico who are, you know, blown away that some, what, what is snow? Like we've heard about it in theory, but like, what is it really like? What do you do with it? You know, there, there's questions we've had, you know, students connect between, one of my favorite ones that I still remember is one between Kansas and Mexico, two classrooms in Kansas, one in Mexico, one in Kansas. And, and you know, so what do you do at recess? What happens? Do you outside? Do you shovel it? Do you throw it? <laughs> and I, those little moments beyond subject matters, beyond like the textbook, are the all, and I know this is a former teacher, you live for those moments, you live for the moments where like, that's the teachable moments where kids come alive and be like, okay, there's a window. There's that window of curiosity. We can grab it. We can learn about a whole host of subjects. Okay.